replacing your pool liner is a big decision. And by the end of this video, you are going to know how to make the most informed decision possible when buying a new pool liner, whether you install the liner yourself or hire someone to do it for you. Over the past 18 years, I have installed over 5,000 pool liners. I don't know of anyone with more experience than me when it comes to vinyl swimming pool liners. Over the past couple of decades, I have studied liners, and I don't mean that as a euphemism. I have put a lot of time and effort and money into creating studies to better understand pool liners. This is the one little area of the world that I have chosen to know more about than anyone else. When it comes to pool construction, there's a lot of people out there who know a lot more than I do. But when it comes to pool liners, you can trust that what I am telling you is true. This is because I have taken the time to test the widespread and often wrong assumptions about the pool industry. For example, did you know that the average life of a pool liner is 8 to 12 years if your pool is equipped with a chlorine, salt, or ozone system? But it jumps up to 20 to 30 years when your pool is equipped with a zero core system. If you want to learn more about zero chlorine technology by zero core, I have made several videos addressing that topic on my channel. So let's talk about your new pool liner. When choosing a new pool liner, there are really three main things to consider. Thickness, design, and integral color, also known as base color. When it comes to thickness, the general rule is that thicker is better, but not for the reason you might think. Over the years, I have seen no evidence to support the theory that thicker liners last longer than thinner liners in regard to time alone. However, thicker liners seem to resist punctures significantly better than thinner liners, which, as it turns out, leads to longer life of the pool liner. This is because any puncture of a pool liner, including a pinhole, will eventually cause the liner to fail. So if you can prevent punctures, you can increase the life of the liner. Therefore, I recommend going with the thickest liner offered by your liner dealer. This is also why Lazy Day no longer offers 20 mil liners in our lineup. The thinnest liner we offer is 27 mil. So the obvious question is, if, if thicker is better, why not just do a 60 mil liner? Well, we have installed several 60 mil liners and we don't recommend them for most applications because they are extremely expensive and the benefits do not, in my opinion, rise high enough to justify the high price. So now we need to talk about how to choose the best liner design. Starting around 2018, we started to see a trend toward borderless liners. This is a pool liner that does not have the border printed around the top eight inches of vinyl where the water level is. When this trend first started, I didn't think it made much sense, but now I have a borderless liner in my pool and I love it. It makes the pool look more like a gunite pool and the reason is that the printed borders on the pool liners almost always look fake. This is because whoever creates the border designs for these pool liners doesn't seem to have the goal of making them look realistic. Rather, they are trying to make them look unique. So the result has been that the public has just rejected the border designs altogether. With that said, I have plenty of customers who still prefer the liners with a border, and the biggest consideration when choosing your liner design should be to simply ask yourself, which design do I like best? Okay, so now we need to talk about something that almost no one talks about when it comes to choosing a pool liner. This is an integral color, which basically means what is the color of the vinyl that the design is printed on and this is why it's important regardless of the liner you choose the ink on the liner is going to fade at the same rate based on your pool chemistry the only exception to this rule is your pool uses zero core technology if you have a zero core pool the liner won't color fade at all so the base color of the liner is irrelevant but if your pool uses salt chlorine or ozone you are going to have to deal with liner color fade if your liner design is printed on white vinyl, you will see the white background that the ink is printed on faster than you would if your liner is printed on blue vinyl. In other words, if you choose a liner printed on a colored base vinyl, you create an optical illusion that makes the color appear to last longer, even though it is still fading at the same rate as liners with white vinyl bases. So that's it for this video. If you got any value at all from the video, please like and subscribe. If you have a specific question about your swimming pool you would like for me to answer directly, just join my weekly live Q&A session here on YouTube every Saturday at 10 a.m. 
During this live Q&A, you can ask me anything you want about swimming pools from construction to maintenance to starting your own pool company. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.